Hey guys, happy Halloween from the Fast Break Kids. I am Wiley Lewis here with Josh Adamovich. Hype man, there it is, the yeah, guns, yeah. the guns. The guns. And obviously this is our Halloween edition. We are going to be uh, playing a game called Trick or Treat. Ooh, I'm excited. Uh, because the NBA season has started, Josh. Yay! So we've got football craziness and basketball craziness starting up. And um, if you're a fan, the World Series. World Series and the MLS uh, just entered the playoffs. And hockey's going on, too. Like, this is crazy. Eh, who cares? I'm just saying. Like, there's five it going on crazy, right now. It's it nuts. It is crazy. What time to be alive. Uh, I hate that saying, but it's nice. It is a time. It is a time. Um, obviously, I... Uh, the lumberjack. We got yeah. the cookie monster over cookie, here. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, cookie. Cookie, uh, cookie. So we're going to be playing a game called Trick or Treat. I am going to give... A basketball player who is, uh, you know, could go either way this year. And we yeah. will decide if we believe he will be a trick or a treat for that team. Ooh. First up, Josh. Lay it on me, buddy. Hassan Whiteside. Center for Miami. Picked up in the middle of the year just off of, you know, just yeah. whatever street corner they found him. And they, all of a sudden, he produced yeah, where did they find like him, the crazy. I have no idea. He's been in the league for, I think, four years okay. before this okay. year. So he's been floating around. All of a sudden, he just exploded onto the scene with the Heat, and now a major part of that team. Yeah. But was that just a fluke Be last or, year? Or also, is Chris, this, so this is the real deal. Chris Bosh went down. He went, he, his season ended, like, what, mid-February? Um, and so it was. So, it was right after the All Star break. I think was it was after. So before? around February, then. It was yeah, about February. Okay. Yeah. So then, yeah, and then that's when Hassan really started to do work. I feel like so maybe it was because Chris Boss was gone. I don't know. Hassan Goatside, as Jared uh, jokingly calls him, as other people online have been calling him. We've seen what he can do. So you know he's. Uh, he he's, had all those blocks. Uh, defensively, yeah, he's there. He, we know what he can do. So he's I'm a excited. huge. He could be the missing piece for that Heat team to. Make a strong run in the playoffs. I'm not going to say it's going to be a trick or a treat. Well, he'll mostly be a treat, I feel like. You're going treat? I'm going, I'm treat. going treat, too. I'm going to go treat. Uh, I, I believe if, it, if he was with a, another team that maybe didn't have a good enough track record, yeah. I would go trick. But with Pat Riley, Spolstra, oh. you got Wade and all those guys to support Excellent him. Excellent basketball mind. And yeah. you know, lead him along the path. Uh, I, think, I think he's going to be a treat. I agree. I, agree. I can't take you serious looking, and I doubt you can take me serious I can't. as well. It's hard. Also, I've got my syrups here. For those of you who are uh, sugar-free, I've got Mrs. Butterworth sugar-free, and I've got some normal syrup over here at Log Cabin. But, Josh, if you'd like some later on. If we have time, I was going to say. Maybe we get some cookies, put yeah. some syrup on it. Mm. Boom. Cookie, cookie. Uh, next guy, Rudy Gay. Trick. Trick, yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a, he's a fantasy he's treat. He's a career trick. He's, he's a he fantasy tri uh, treat. He's a fantasy treat. But, uh, yeah, actual basketball, yeah, no, no, he's a detriment. He takes, he'll get you 30 points a but game. But he'll take 40 but shots. But he'll take 40 <laughs> shots in that game, and yeah. they'll still lose. It's so, a career yeah, trick. I can agree with that one. Ricky Rubio. Ugh. Guy, every ugh, year ugh, he ugh, seems ugh. to almost hit you with this stellar year, and then all of a sudden Injury. you realize, wait a minute, he can't shoot the ball to save his life. Or play defense. I think he might be the worst offensive player player ever for a guy who plays so much and is so skilled yeah i've never I, seen somebody who can't score yeah true he, he it's like he has it's almost like he it's almost, almost like he's allergic to like the net you know what i mean from <laughs> yeah from long range exactly. from mid range from, from, from short range, range it's, like it's bizarre hey man i want to stay he's away from got, that as much as he's possible got unbelievable all right vision oh, he can steal filthy. the ball but he's constantly getting injured, and he can't shoot the ball. I'm going with Trick. I'm going to go Treat overall. Because okay. I feel like his okay. passing and his setting, like his, his skill to set up, like his, his, na his, his knack to set people up. And he, he's exceeds. got some guys to set up with Carl Anthony Towns just came in. And Andrew, Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins. KG will be there for like four minutes a game. I don't know. Kevin Martin's good uh, off the bench. Kevin Martin, yeah. Zach Levine, if he can yeah. actually make a shot. So, you know. I understand that, but I'm still going trick. I like uh, it. Alfred Payton. Oh, I'm this is another guy who's kind of like Rubio, where he's got really good. In the vision. same vein, yeah, yeah. Isn't a good scorer. No, no. But he can do a lot of. He things. gets you rebounds. He gets you assists. He play defense. Steals. He's got 
some of the zaniest hair you'll what, ever some see. Some of the best hair I've seen. Mark it's, that down. It's just... Some of the best hair. I've never seen somebody who has hair that looked... Last year... Anymore, just like he didn't even care like at Medusa all. Medusa a little bit. Just, just it, it, yeah, I've never seen anybody with hair that just... Like, you couldn't care less. He couldn't he, he care could less. Not. He yeah. doesn't. He looks like he doesn't even cut it. Doesn't Stylish. do anything. Just wakes up. Ball game. I'm gonna go play. Fashion icon is what that is. Uh, which you know, you'd rather want a player who'd focus on the ball than his hair, though. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I'm gonna go treat. I'm gonna go treat too. Orlando's roster I is. I like Orlando. I love their roster. They're all young. They're all young dudes. And they've got. I mean, if they can put it together, Scott Skiles, new head coach. That, he's known, but he's known for that though. He's known for taking teams who have potential, but. Not have results and put them in the playoffs. Like he can do that. Yeah, that's sort of his thing. I agree. And plus, I just feel like that the the patent to Oladipo, the patent to Hazonia, the patent to Mario, patent to Vucevic. Oh, I love Mario Hazonia. He might be my rookie of the year. That guy. He's balling. Thinks he is all that in a bag of potato chips. Swag on, swag on a hundred. Reporter asked him once. True story. Reporter asked him he should go see Lionel Messi to watch him play with his professionalism and his skill, and Mario responded by saying, Lionel Messi should come watch me play. <laughs> wow! You better be good, swag dude. Swag on a hundred. I'm going to put that swag on a hundred. Uh, hashtag swag on a hundred. Yeah. Trick. Nicholas Batum. Uh, new team. He's with Charlotte after seven years with Portland. Charlotte's a trick, but I feel like Batum could still be a treat. He could. He's, you know, I feel like his whole career so far has been pretty disappointing. Because when he came into the league, it was yeah. like, this guy, he's long. He's versatile. He's versatile. He can shoot the three, but he's, he, he's athletic. And he never really panned out to be the guy that Portland kind of made him out to be. So a few seasons ago, he was he didn't lead the league, but he was close to, he was close to leading the league. And I believe, in a, and I believe triple doubles. So, I mean, he's definitely versatile. But hmm. I don't know. That's Charlotte. Triple doubles or trickle doubles? Possibly trickle doubles. So, I don't know. So Lance Stevenson led the league in triple doubles two a few years, years ago, ago, right? Yeah. And where's that guy right now? He's in LA with the Clippers on like the ninth spot. I'm going trick. Trick. Uh, Michael Carter Williams, NCW. Um, trick. Ooh. You had to wait for it. It was like. Oh. I've never had faith in him as a player. Oh, trick. Never had faith in him as, a, as an NBA player. Blah! Although trick, last right year there. he had, last year he did well with the Bucks after he got traded. Maybe that's just as a result of maybe it's just a result of the of his coach Jason Kidd, Hall of Fame one guard himself. So you uh, know. It was weird because they know, traded man. Brandon Knight for MCW know. essentially. They traded Brandon Knight, who was doing so well, averaging like twenty points a game. Yeah, that was weird. For MCW, who uh, is such an inefficient player, who yeah. has shown erratic playing, and he's got talent. Not but efficient, I'm though. Still confuses what Jason Kidd was doing with that. He yeah. said that he thinks he's more of a pure point guard, but dude, I don't know. So I was so they played the night. I. I checked the box score like an hour ago. The dude was like four for sixteen. That's a, a pure, a pure point guard does not shoot the ball sixteen. Watch times. out, Ricky Rubio. You know what I mean? MCW is coming for that world's worst shooter award. Like a pure point guard doesn't shoot the ball that many times unless he's open. And has like, right. You know he's gonna right. make it. Right. You know what I mean? I agree. So uh, what? Trick. Right. Trick. Trick for both here. Uh, yeah. Darren Williams. The guy who you described just a few minutes ago as a lighter-skinned Baron Davis, That's which the I angle, agree with that. The camera he angle was bald. Yeah, he had the, the headband. Hair, headband. I mean, I agreed with that one. I thought it was Baron Davis. I was like, is that Baron Davis? Is Baron Davis is back. He's back? Yes. I wouldn't be surprised the Mavericks would have to go and get Baron Davis to play for them. They were so hard up on players. Yeah. Uh, uh, this offseason. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go trick as well on Darren Williams, man. He ain't never going to play like he was when he played with the Jazz. Or I'm even gonna, that first year with the Nets. I just don't see it, man. I'm going to say treat, Ooh. but 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 not to where he was with the Jazz no. or anything like that. No, 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 no. I'm going to say to a point where 
He's going to be a treat as in nobody's expecting really anything from him at this point. He was a nice grab. And here's, here's if he why. If he averages 15. Okay. Not because of him, but because yeah. of Rick Carlisle. If he averages 15 Rick, and 7, that's for sure a treat. I'll Rick agree with Carlisle you. is a basketball coaching genius. Guru. He took them to the finals with a pretty old team, beat LeBron in the heat, which is impressive. Weird series. And, Weird series. you know, uh, I like him because he kind of looks like uh, Jim Carrey, like an evil Jim Carrey. And um, <laughs> wow, he, yeah. he's just good. He's a good coach, and yeah. I think he can get the best out of Darren Williams. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. let's move forward because now it's going to get fun. Interesting. Jamal Crawford. That guy's always a treat, man. He's always How a, you gonna he's ask a me visual that? treat. How are you going to ask me that? Because he's just... He's always a treat. It's like... Always. He, he's like J.R. Smith, who could honestly be on this list as well, but J.R. Smith, I think, at this point, is no longer ever going to be a treat. Uh, it's always going to be a trick from now on. Um, yeah, fair enough. Jamal is entering the stage where he's on the down. He's like 30. He's old, man. Four. He's been in the league for a while. He's like mid 30s. Yeah. He still thinks he's got all that. He, all those he moves. is all. He's all that. And he sometimes can pull it off. And a box chopper. I've he's never all seen that. anybody with the more with a more ridiculous arc in his three point shot. And you know who has he is the, the king of four-point plays. I was going to say, I was about to mention that. You know who has the most four-point plays in NBA history? Jamal, Jamal Crawford. Jamal Crawford doing Jamal Crawford things. Dude's a treat. But I'm going to say trick because oh. I think this is the year when he finally Ooh. goes into J.R. Smith mode where he still takes a ton of shots, but he doesn't make them on a consistent basis yeah, like okay. he used to. Last year he was still, eh, this year. How long ago was he a six-man of the year? Three, was that a while ago? Or was that re it, was, it was recently, it right? Was, Maybe I'm wrong. It was a while ago. Okay. I don't know. Let's Whatever. move forward. Whatever. You're going treat. I'm going treat. I'm going trick. I'm it going is, treat. He is a treat for the eyes. but Always. Uh, Jeremy Lin. Trick. Lin Sanity was the only treat that man ever gave us. And that was what? Less than 30 games? It was such a beautiful. Oh, it was amazing. Less than 30 games. It was amazing. The insanity had that the game New York where Knicks put, interesting. That game where he put up 30 against the Lakers. That buzzer beater what? against the Raptors. What? Oh, can we just go back to J oh, the insanity, please? Man. I, I'm gonna say trick, but I hope it's a treat. Please make Charlotte interesting. I don't. I, I like their honeycomb court. Oh, I like it. I like Big I like Al Jefferson. Jared loves the Hornets. Do a favor to Jared and play well. Come on, Jeremy. Be good. Be uh, good. Be good. Finally, I think this is our. This is just our fun one. Yeah. That we just want to discuss. Kobe Bryant. Ugh. What? His twentieth season. Is that not crazy to you, man? Twenty seasons. Twenty seasons. I started off was as a four years old, or old when he came into the league. Man, I was two. That's. We were watching this guy on TV for real. I was watching him on TV. I guarantee that. That's amazing. Probably when he made his debut, probably at that moment, I was probably watching like, Cookie Monster. Sitting there in your diaper. I love cookies. Looking at the TV. Yeah. Uh, Kobe, though. Man, he's got to be a treat, right? Maybe. I'm going to say treat. I'm gonna I say don't treat. think. I don't. Okay. I'm going to. Let's lay out this scenario real quick. Yes. You got Lou Williams, Nick Young, and Kobe Bryant. Who all play roughly the same position. Shooting guard, yeah. Who all do exactly the same thing, all on the same team. How much of a visual treat will that be? How can Just that, to watch those guys fight over the ball. How can that go wrong? How can it go wrong? I don't think it can. I mean, Roy Hibbert's going to be there to look depressed the whole time. He's on the Lakers now? That's right. Oh, my goodness. You got Clarkson and... D'Angelo uh, Russell. D'Angelo Russell and... Uh, Randall, who are just going to be sitting there watching all these old guys fight over the ball, and they're going to have to wait. Good point. Lou Williams can... is like, he's in his 30s too, I think. Yeah. Dude's old. It's, it's going to be sad if you're a Lakers fan, but it's going to be oh so fun to watch if you're anybody else. This might be treat. Treat, definitely. Treat! Definitely a treat. And uh, we'll pour some syrup on that treat. Do -do 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 -do. On yours too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, and that should be it. That's our trick or treat. Happy Halloween, guys. Have fun. Happy the happiest of Halloween. Don't get too much candy, all right? Because Said no one gets. ever. Just Come kidding. On. Uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Trick or treat. 
happy Halloween, guys. For Josh, I am Wiley. You can follow us on Twitter at... Jay Adamovich. Boom. I'm at Wiley underscore Coyote 12. 12. And you can check us out all the time. We are tweeting masterpieces. Always. Masterpieces. Always. Maybe that's a little bit overdoing it, but whatever. Last it's week's show. It's a day of craziness. Last week's show was evident of our awesome tweets. Absolutely. Check that oh out. Oh, my gosh. Check that out. Check yes. it out. All right. Well, Explain thank you yourself. for tuning in. See you next time. We are the Fast Break Kids. It's just an, an important bulletin. Cannonball!